Hey guys, so in this video we will see how do we make use of the python's request library to request any endpoint and how do we configure the timeout for it. And also we will see how do we handle any timeout situation using the retry mechanism. Okay, so let's say I have an API, I have, you can see on the screen, this is an API and using this we get some fact about cats. So let's make use of this API and see how do we you know actually hit this API using python's request library and then handle the timeout situations so first what we can do is we can just import the request library of python and in, in a very simple term what we can do is we have a request r we can do requests dot get for this base url and also i can just print okay i can just print the r dot text and also print the r dot status code so status code will will give me the output status code like which are like 200 or 404 or 401 which I really get or and text which will be the actual response which will be we will be getting from this particular request so if I run this particular program so let's see okay so we have got our response and we have got uh, the 200 response code or the status code now let's say we want to you know restrict our api or restrict our request to a particular amount of time let's say if this particular endpoint may take 10 seconds or may take one second may take 0.5 seconds but i want that okay my api or my request should only take 0.2 second to complete this request as it should time out right it should not you know just keep on going or requesting it or uh, making the connection and you know trying to uh, get the data in a infinitely long amount of time so for that we have something called timeout so in our get I can pass timeout as a parameter and I can specify the amount of time which is in seconds so let's say if I say one second right as of now my code will try to get the response in one second if it is able to get then well and good otherwise it will raise a timeout error okay so let's try this okay so our code was able to get our response within a second but what if I, if I you know decrease this time to 0 0.1 second so let's try it again okay so we have got this long big error and on the top of it I can see okay it's a timeout or timed out error because this API was not able to respond within 0 0.1 second right now I can choose any number of you know this timeout I can say okay not 0 0.1 second but okay give me in 0 0.5 seconds so let's try to see if it is able to give again it is an error it is giving me error in 0 0.5 seconds as well you can see read timeout is 0 0.5 seconds okay let's clear it out and try it again okay this time we were able to get it because this happens guys right maybe this api is getting what amount of requests at what time depends right maybe it is getting thousand requests at some time and uh, at some time it is getting ten thousand requests so obviously when it is getting less requests it will be able to you know send the response faster so how do we deal with this situation is we specify the timeout right but also I cannot show my user this big uh, you know error output let's say if I try again okay, I'm getting it but let's say if I put it is 0 0.1 I'm, I am I won't I won't like to give my user or you know someone who is using my program or application this big error what I can do very easy method is wrap it up in try and catch block okay this is our try thing and okay in python we have accept and I can say print timeout error right now in this case it will just say timeout error right but better is to you know you can you have a uh, timeout named error in request library or exception in request library so you can say from requests dot exceptions you can import the timeout 
now this is an exception so instead of you know catching it it generally you can say timeout okay time out as te and okay to and now it will whenever timeout will occur it will say timeout error occurred so if i just run this program oh no request module found because it is not request it is requests okay now if i run it i am getting timeout error okay now if now guys what can happen is this is this is handling this is you know configuration of timeout but what can happen is maybe if you have put it as 0.3 okay and in 0.3 it is giving me timeout error okay each time it is giving me timeout error if i put it as 0.4 i am getting timeout error again i am getting timeout error again okay see this time i got the response it may happen that at particular time out uh, you know amount like 0.4 or any number which we set sometime we can get the response sometime we cannot get the response right so we can choose some number let's say 0.5 seconds but in 0.5 seconds also maybe sometime we don't get the response but i am sure that okay, hey if i try two or three times i will get the response it is called retrying right it is not like if i am getting a time out i will directly say time out no i have to retry a good practice is to retry so how do we do it okay good way is you first create a variable called okay maximum retries retries and let's say i want three i want it okay i want to try three times okay so a very simple scenario is run a loop for i in range of you know max retries and wrap this wrap it up inside a loop right so you will say okay this is a very common solution but we will see how this is a bit different okay so let's clear it okay i am getting the solution i am getting time out i am getting time out so see we are able to try three times but the problem is when we are getting the correct response i should not try again and again right very simple way is break now it will go three times a maximum of three times but whenever it will go inside this it means time out has not occurred whenever it goes inside it, it will break so now if i run my program okay i got a time out error i got a time out error and i got a time out error again right maybe it may happen right it is all upon how what number we choose right let's try to run it again okay we got the response and now you see it didn't try it again because obviously it got breaked the loop got break right so this is guys this is how you configure the timeout and manage the timeout by retrying so this is the uh, very good practice to you know call any api and timeout things and retry things should always be there in a good production code now one more thing guys what if if, if your program is not have uh, uh, okay so i think i don't think your program will have you know only this much amount of code it may have a long list of code down there right your code should know that okay i did i got the response or did i got the time out a good way is you know put an else statement for this for loop now what this else is like let's say okay i will say all retries failed okay now when will i reach in this particular else i will reach in this particular block when my for loop was completed without getting break right so and i my for loop will not break until unless there is a successful response if there is a successful response it will break and it will not come in this if there is not a successful response it will each time it will say a timeout error and then it, at last it will say okay all data is failed let's see an example of it timeout error timeout error timeout error see all data is failed i can try it again timeout error timeout error time out okay it is it failed again okay this time it it got me the correct response and uh, neither timeout error printed nor all retries a field you know printed so this is how guys you can make use of timeout and maximum retries in your program so if you find this video helpful you can 
so if you find this video helpful you can ask me for another video and i will see you in another video with some interesting code